first pitch, you Darvish to Mookie Betts. Slider hammered, and that kid jumped it first up in the crowd by a landslide. Mookie puts his head down. He's going to play it cool. Profar tracks it down, reaches for the wall, can't find it. It's short, allows him to catch the ball amongst the fans. Guy in the white goes to catch it on the drop. Profar plays it cooler. Mookie celebrates, and then goes, ah, feels lame for celebrating. Let's go, Mookie Betts. 0 for 22 now in the postseason, even though that would have been a homer. Speaking of, postseason's been amazing, Jake. Baseball's back, Jim. Zach. New York, Kansas City. Most back and forth in a playoff game ever. Bomb. The Mets. Can't stop, won't stop. They get down, baby, until they lose. <laughs> Fools. Uh, Dodgers in San Diego. <laughs> you see that? <sighs> and this was a good note. Cleveland, Detroit also playing. Also playing. That series is happening, maybe. One of the best postseason starts of all time by Tarek Skubal tonight. Weren't you telling me about this almost a breakdown from across the pool? Almost a breakdown. We got Greg Zerloin from Lincoln, Three, Nebraska. Two, one, one, four. Two. Zerloin's cool. Zerloin. Mm, not how I say it. <laughs> He's warming up his kick. He's setting right. up. The cheerleaders are dancing. This one is very funny because one of the cheerleaders like goes around him and then gets back to her spot. And the other goes around the ball and gets back to her spot. And he's kind of just looking like, um, she's standing real close to the ball. Her heel is almost touching the holder. He decides, yeah, I'm going to kick this. Right. He doesn't know if their dance steps them back. He hits them. More impressive. None of the cheerleaders reacted or got nervous or scared. So everyone just kind of knew what was happening here. Two things here, Jim. This combines my two passions. Kicking balls and dancing. And dancing, the show must go on. That's it, that's all. It doesn't matter if there's a kicker out there or whatever's going on. Gunman? Kind of, yeah. I don't know. Yes, dude. That's kind of the rules of the dance. Okay. Uh, for the kicker, it's supposed to be a pressure-packed thing. That I know. There's a moment in his head where he's like, I shouldn't kick this ball. There's a bunch of people dancing around me. And then he kind of is like, wait, I'm a kicker. The show must go on. I mean, it would have been electric. <laughs> I don't want to say plugged one of these dancers. <laughs> You don't want to but say I, plugged one of these dancers. That's why I didn't say it. And we moved past it. Unedited version. How do you replicate a pressure pack kick? You do it while the other team is practicing, which we've seen before. You do it while the cheerleaders are out there. You do it while someone's got a gun to your head at your house. It's your wife. It's not loaded. That's how Zerloin and his wife practice at home. I was reading this article I made up. Let's get back to the baseball. Do we have an ad? Sure do. Pick it. Today's episode is brought to you by Pick It. Can I pick it? Yeah. <laughs> pick It is a free bet tracker that allows you to see all of your bets placed in one place. Oh my God, it's a QR code. Oh my God, it's a QR code. It tracks your bets. So if you're betting on NFL and you do real bad, it'll be like, oh, no, no, no. But maybe college, you do really well. So Pick It is kind of your analytics team to your bets. Download Picket with code JOHNBOY. Get $3 or $100 sent directly to your PayPal or Venmo. Bong. Either scan the QR code on the screen or head to picket.com today. Now back to the baseball. Jim, we've talked about how good baseball is, and some people really like this in baseball. Maybe a star is born. Andy Fletcher with a bad strike zone. Usually, if it's a lefty, the outside, and then the righty, the inside. It's like one side of the plate, or usually it's out, whatever. He just, this one side of the plate... <laughs> Was just given, and then he decided, I'll just, I'll just do everything every which way. Some didn't make sense. Like this pitch by Senga was a strike, but it was called a ball on a three zero pitch too. It's a bad look. Later on, Marsh comes up, similar pitch called a strike, but it was lower. So like he got him wrong on both sides of it. Have you been waiting to do that Marsh shelfy face mash? <sighs> Can Andy Fletcher be an umpiring star? The name's not good enough. No, a name is not good enough. Drew Fletch, really? Drew Fletch sounds weird. Well, it kind of sounds like you drew Fletch. Yeah, it sounds like an action. <gasps> but anyway. You're this, such this, a uh... fucker. <laughs> this goes back to my point on how they do postseason umpires. Right. Take the best that called home plate all season and make them all the home plate umps. And the umpires who had the best calls at first base, make them the first base umps. And some umps are better at one thing than the other umps are better at the others and get rid of the outfield umps because they do nothing. Some people are like, about? well, then you got to pay more people because, blah, blah. no, you just take rid of those outfield umps that all they do is stare at the ump in front of them's ass and do nothing. They can go. We have review. There's better ways to do it. There's always ways to make a ways. He gets it. 
You don't. <laughs> Jim, uh, your ex in the not sports. Yeah. And my guy I used to date, Arthur Shoebarth. Three, two, two one, one zero. <laughs> Art Shoebark. That's actually a good ump name. Art Shoebark is a good ump name, but that's not his name. It's Arthur Shoebarth. Well, he's 81 years old. He's sent to six months in prison because he tried to create giant hybrid species of wild <laughs> sheep. He's 81 years old. He's really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> he took tissue from a Marco Polo or galley sheep yeah. from Central Asia and the testicles of a bighorn sheep native to the Rockies to make large hybrids of sheep. And you may say, what's wrong with that? Jake's dog is created, so who cares? Nice catch, Zach. The reason he was doing this is pretty fucked up. He was going to sell these sheep to like hunting reserves and hunters so they can just go be dead and then put the head on a mantle. Premium price. Then the flip side... We got an 81-year-old in South Korea, Chu Soon Hua. Three, two, one, and A. I don't know how that falls in South Korea. Great umpire name. She's 81 years old, and she was in the Miss Universe Korea pageant trying to get the Miss Universe Korea nod. She didn't win. She lost to another woman who I have her picture here, but I didn't copy and paste her name. It was like something else isn't like arthur shoebarth or something like that yeah maybe they just changed the age limit last year jake it was 18 to 28 and people were like that's unfair like i'm 30 and i'm right. gorgeous i'm beautiful Choi soon hua was like and me and me and they were like oh we should have done 18 to 38 yeah but no she's great she looks awesome she's she got great. silver hair she looks great she should have won Maybe not. Uh, this guy's a creep. Uh, I do have him hitting on her at some point. Like, we're 81. I'm 81. We're both setting. I have her reaching out to him to try and do some, like, anti-aging science. She's like, oh, you're a scientist? Mm. You do things? I have him pretty happy in prison. Not going to lie. Oh, no. He was, like, crying on a court case. He said that he's going really? he to take the rest of his life to, like, overcome this. And it's like, buddy, you lived your life. Why are you in here, man? Sheep breeding. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the show. See you guys later. Goodbye. That was a weekly dumb. Drama for the, the magazines. I'm a once a year magazine guy. At the airport? I recently bought a subscription to a magazine. I think it lapsed. So I was getting them sent to my house once. A, it was like once every three months because they're scaling back. It was nice. Like every magazine. I flipped through the pages like, this is good topics. I never read them. The table of contents is like, this stuff's good. They're kind of like the internet in a book. Yeah.